Uh, welcome friends to our first session of SSIS integration services. I mean to say SQL Server integration services. So SQL Server integration services is a fully graphical design tool to define the data flow of our packages. If I am talking about a SSIS, then we can say SSIS uh, is a graphical tool that contain of n number of connections, control flow elements, data flow elements, event handlers, variables, parameters, and configuration settings. So, in this session we are going to introduce the control flow what is the control flow in ssi see over here control flow is the starting point of any ssis package because in control flow we are going to define how is data going to be moved uh, in our database and which kind of the actions we are going to take on the process file so in control flow we can say it contains basically three types of tasks number one is task number two is container number three is the precedence constraints so what is the task so if i am going to define the task so a task is nothing uh, but it provides functionality in the package for example if i am going to process a file in our database then we need a task to check the file is exist or not okay if file exists then i need to check the data is available or not okay then we are going to use a skip task okay now after, when we are going to process our file i need to archive this file again so in this case i am going to use the file system task okay so these are the two different kind of the tasks if i need to do some job some things in a in a way or uh, in a nested manner then i need a container so you can see we have the container like for loop container for each loop container and sequence container so here i am going to put it now we have used task and container in this window now we need to precedence constants what is precedence constants to define the flow of the process we need to connect them one task to another so this is the precedence constraints which is going to define uh, uh, which is going to define or connect one task to another one like over here okay if i want to do some things on the data then i am going to use a data flow into the container okay so data flow task data flow task is basically responsible to do further action on the data side like pull the data transformation and load the data into the destination like over here apart from this in control flow we can define the connections also in uh, in the connection manager window right click over here like this now you can see we have a n numbers of connections like over here now we can connect from any 
we have <coughs> and number of connections in SSIS now you can see we have a window add SSIS connection manager so you can see we can connect with any data source or any data destination with the help of connection managers over here okay now uh, if you am going to right click on control flow tab you can see yeah right click on the control flow tab you can see we have a different kind of things we need to do like add and version like this if I want to define the task what is going in it then we can say check the existence of the file now I am just going to move it over here just above the skip task now this is the another facility of the control flow apart from this we can see here like variables if I am going to click on variables then a variable window going to be open over here now here I can define the variable also okay now uh, you can see a control flow is the is the place where we can define the process of the data how is going to start and how is going to finish so in the control flow we can define all the steps over here so in this uh, example uh, I'm just going to remove it and add a skip task over here again like this and just connect it with the precedent constants so this is a very simple functionality of the control flow apart from this uh, if I want to connect on parameterize then we can choose the that is a parameterized package window so checkpoint name creation date these are the properties of parameter parameterized package over here so we can discuss all the steps in our next videos over here so if I am going to run this package in this package we are not going to do anything this is only for the demo purpose over here now you can see how is process going to be flow oh. just stop this ok so it is very simple thing uh, what we can do in the control flow definitely a control flow or uh, is there is a place to define the process of the package how is going to start how which kind of the transformation data movement and how we are going to archive our files and how we are going to send emails something like this so all the steps are going to define in the control flow so if you want to learn more on SSIS please subscribe my videos on YouTube thank you for watching us